one of the centers or approved centers that are providing the qualify qualification for a diploma in health and social care. Meron pong level 3 at merong um, level 4. Okay? Depende yan sa i-enroll nyo, but both of them are a diploma. Okay? Diploma course. So, the center, which is the school, is a qualified school to provide yung curriculum ng health and social care um, course. We also have experienced uh, tutors that would be um, teaching you on the different levels when it comes to health and social care. And also, the center is committed to working, qualify, and its team of quality reviewers as well as external verifiers. Okay, so what is the entry criteria or sino po ba yung mga pwedeng mag-enroll with the following um, levels, no? So, entry to the qualifications will be through center interview and learners will be expected to hold the following. So, some ability and possesses qualifications at level 3. So, kung level 4 ang i-enroll mo, no? So, dapat natapos ka ng level 3 or kailangan high school graduate ka. Okay? There are some time in organizational role and shown that they have the uh, capability and <clears throat> drive to develop. And those learners seeking further professional development and gain work-related uh, skills and no... <clears throat> Oops. Na mga pwedeng, ibig ko sabihin is, ito yung mga pwedeng ma-admit sa level 4. Okay? Um, yung mga level 2 naman, yun po is offer sa mga um, hindi graduate ng um, high school but they are interested to uh, study again. So, pwede yun. Pero dito po sa atin, yung i-orient natin ngayon, that is level 4, so... Um, kailangan ko dito is a high school graduate. Or may mga iba naman na yung mga nakatapos ng level 3, tinutuloy nila ng level 4. So, what's the structure of the um, qualifications? So, the qualify a uh, diploma in health and social care is a level 4 qualification that is made up to 120 credits. So, sa Pinas po, tinatawag yan na 120 units or ano ba, may ibang tawag yan sa ibang mga facilities or schools. Pero sa atin, we call it as credits. Okay, so 120 po ang um, level 4. So examples of the activities that can contribute dun sa ating total qualification uh, time is meron tayong mga guided learning. We have independent and unsupervised research or learning. Provise uh, compilation of portfolio of work experience unsupervised e-learning, e-assessment, and uh, unsupervised course work. Okay. So, to be able to complete the course, so all units are mandatory. So, lahat ng mga modules, lahat ng mga units that is included in the level 4 are mandatory. So, all units covers a number of topics relating to the learning outcomes. So, to complete po yung 120 credits or 120 uh, units ng course na to, so the student should finish all the inclusive modules sa uh, course ng level 4. <clears throat> okay? So, ano po ang delivery guidance? Paano kayo mag-aaral? So, meron po tayong online and we have face-to-face. -face. If I'm not mistaken, no, anyway, we'll be uh, nag-start na din po yung ating face-to-face -face, um, classes for the health and social care course. But for the online, this will be the specific uh, delivery guidance. Paano siya ikakandak? So we have a once a week um face-to-face -face, which is a via Zoom class. Okay? So meron po tayong once a week na meeting via Zoom. So that would be 3 to 4 hours depending on your schedule. But yung pong class hours na 3 to 4 hours will not be utilized uh, for the whole lecture. 50% will be for the lecture and 50% will be task making. Okay? Then, the remaining time or the remaining days po would be 
a blended type of learning in which the students will be working independently or yung tinatawag natin self-directed learning or um, SDL. So at least, they should be reviewing their modules at least an hour per day. So saan po natin i-review yung mga modules? Saan kayo mag-aaral? Saan nyo makikita yung mga yon? So meron po tayong tinatawag na VLE or your virtual learning environment. Or ito po yung digital classroom natin. So you will be given a access to your own portal to which you can access all the resources of the sessions. You can see handouts, uh, PowerPoint presentations, as well as the live class and recorded lectures. So, ano ang kagandahan ng online? Ang kagandahan ng Recording online... Recording in progress. For example, no? For example, uh, absent ka and then we're not able to attend the class, pwede mo siyang balikan. Okay? Kung let's say meron ka hindi naintindihan doon sa nung nag-attend ka ng lecture dahil nagtatrabaho ka ba nakikinig ka ng lecture, pwede mong balikan sa portal at basahin ulit. Okay? So, you, ha you will be having your own um, portal or your virtual learning um, environment for you to be able to access all the learning materials in related to your course. So, ganyan po. So, blended po yung ating uh, delivery guidance ng pag-aaral. Merong um, Zoom classes, depende sa schedule mo, and then uh, you will also have your own portal to learn your um, modules doon sa inyong mga portal. Ayan. <clears throat> okay. So, for the um, level 4, these are the classes or the schedule. Ayan, specifically po under my class. But uh, we also have other instructors. So, uh, schedules you may ask po uh, Miss Lynn later or if you are interested to uh, enroll. So, meron po tayong Friday regular class. It's 4 p.m. Then Sunday, regular class of 4 p.m. And we have a special class, which is two meetings per week. So, two hours per meeting. Uh, Friday and Saturday, 12 noon. So, lahat po ito is quite time. Okay? So, uh, et, kung Asia ka, nasa Asia ka, so ito is 9 p.m., 9 p.m., and this is um, 5 p.m. Okay? Kung Asia time po siya. So, yan po yung mga schedule that we have for the level 4. Ayan. So, at this, I just want to share with you some photos of the students that online classes work. Okay? Kasi minsan isip nila, antayin ko na lang face-to-face. -face. Uh, parang ang boring naman ng online or baka hindi ako matapos or uh, baka hindi ubra ang online. But it works po. Okay? These are only a uh, few evidences that students online is uh, they were able to manage din naman po na makapag-aral. Okay? So, nasa sa inyo pa rin naman yan na students and of course, with the guidance of your instructor. And so, di ba sabi natin, of course, kung gusto mong maabot yung um, pangarap mo, so meron at merong uh, paraan. Yan. So, this is our virtual classroom or yung sabi ko kanina na uh, ating portal. So, you will, you will have once you are officially enrolled, sa health and social care course. So, magkakaroon po kayo ng sarili ninyong portal. The school will be providing you an ID um, access to this portal. Yan. So, yan po yung itsura. And then, makita nyo yung, uh, yung uh, dashboard ninyo. And then, you will get, you can access these are samples of the modules <clears throat> ng level 4. Ayan. Then, makita nyo din nyo po yung mga access ng mga learning materials natin, every module. Yan. So, andyan na po yung aaralin ninyo. Kung gusto nyo mag-advance magbasa, pwede. Andyan, pwede nyo na siyang basahin. So, this is only sample. You will be oriented once you enrolled, i-orient po kayo ng instructor ninyo again kung paano ninyo, ninyo inanavigate at kung paano ninyo gagamitin itong ating portal. Yan. Okay. So, specifically, ito po yung modules na included sa ating level 4 health and social care na course. Okay. So, we have six modules 
from HST 401 up to 406. So, kung mapapansin nyo, baka nahanap nyo dito yung mga topic na bed making, how to give bed bath. So, those are basics of caregiving. Ang level 4 po is, it is more on the supervisory as well as the administrative aspect of caregiving. Kaya kung makikita ninyo, yung mga title ng mga modules natin is hindi siya basic uh, topics. It's already a, um, advanced na siya uh, comparing to the basic topic of caregiving. Okay? So, yan po yung ating mga modules. So, um, every topic or every module consists of 20 credits. So, all in all, you'll be gaining 120 credits. Ayan. Okay. So, but aside from, of course, aside from uh, the modules or the course that you have paid in, that is included in your course, what's the good news? We're also giving free live lessons. Lessons that it will be beneficial in the future para sa inyo. Okay, so we're giving lessons uh, for vital signs taking, review for basic life support, diabetes care, stroke care, dementia, and others na pwede pang ma-add. Depende kung ilang, kunwari no, uh, may ilang months pa natitirang duration dun sa course natin. So other um, free lessons can be added. Okay, so free lessons po yan, hindi kasama sa mga um, binayaran ninyong modules. So this is the good um, thing here. So aside from what is in the module, so may dagdag pa kayo na pwedeng matutunan na gagamitin ninyo at sure na sure na magagamit ninyo later on kapag nagtrabaho na kayo as caregivers. Okay, so what else? We also have, aside from mm, on boring, online lang ng online ng pag-aaral, hindi po. May mga activities din tayo that once in a while it is being held at school or uh, group activities na that would enhance your skills. Kagaya nito, these are um, activities at school na uh, practical vital signs taking ng mga students ko of Friday class. Ayan. So, ito po yung mga kwait-based na students. Siyempre, yung mga international, siyempre, hindi man sila pwede. So, ito yung mga uh, magkakanta ng mga iba activities sa school na pwedeng gawin, pero yung mga uh, pwede lang, of course, mga pwede lang na mga kwait-based students. Then, the school also is having a partnership with a training for basic life support. Ayan. So, pwede nyo din po itong itik uh, kapag natapos na kayo ng course ninyo. So, hindi na kayo hahanap pa ng tra um, training center. Mahihirap pang maghanap ng training center kung nasa Kuwait kayo kasi um, the school is connected or has a partnership with um, a uh, accredited um, American Heart Association training center for basic life support. Ayan, okay? But ito po, this training will be shouldered by the student. Hindi siya kasama dun sa ating um, bayad sa course. Okay, take note, ang BLS po is uh, nowadays uh, mandatory yan sa lahat ng healthcare professionals. Kung baga, kung provider ka, may certification ka nito, additional credentials for you. Okay, so you can take that one once you finish with your um, course. Kung may din na kayo, then you can take this training. Yan. So those are other activities that you may um, experience under the course. Then, paano kayo i-assess? So, assessment will be uh, short quizzes, but the bulk of the assessment will be an assignment. So, every module po has one assignment that you need to finish, and it's a requirement. So, you need to finish six assignments for you to be able to finish the course. Not just to finish them, but of course, to have a passing score for the assignments. Okay, so assignments will contain questions that strand for each of the given unit's learning outcome. Siyempre, kung ano yung inaral, natural, siyempre, yun ang tatanong yan sa assignment. This is one way for us to assess kung may natutunan ba yung estudyante. So assignments is being checked by the instructor, verified uh, by the school, 
and forwarded to UK for external verification as a basis for your uh, diploma or completion of the course. Ayan. So, paano po ina-evaluate yung mga assignments ninyo? So, we have a standard rubric for evaluation of the assignments. So, may criteria po kung paano namin ini-scoran yung ating mga assignments. Okay, so we have uh, five criteria. So, we're evaluating the content, application of theory and literature, knowledge and understanding, presentation and writing skills, as well as referencing. Then, uh, every criteria po has corresponding scores that would be added and then divided into five criteria, then that will be the final score of each assignment. Yan. So, yan po yung parang pinaka-requirement nyo to finish the course. Yan. Okay, so these are examples. So, malapit na po tayo matapos. So, these are only examples of the uh, modules. Ayan, for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, we have 6 modules or um, 6 topics for um, specifically for level 4 health and social care course. Yan. Okay? So, before we're going to proceed po with the question and answer, maybe a two minutes or three minutes water break so that you can prepare your questions. So, that's it po, uh, the content or the overview of our level four qualify diploma in health and social care. So, please prepare po and all of your queries your questions when it comes to the course as well as other concerns, then we'll be answering po together with the admin. Yan. Okay? So, or yung mga hindi magbe-break naman dyan or hindi kayo mag-bladder uh, break or when mag-short mag break so you can start um, answering questions. Or from the admin, Miss Lean or any other from the admin, would you want to give some announcement po or any Anything? Hello, good afternoon everyone. Um, I'm still po pala ng ICER sa admin. Um, lahat naman tayo is Filipino, tama? Kasi magsalita naman pa dahil yung buong. Wala naman tayong other nationalities that are attending our online orientation, right? Uh, for those who are attending, um, kindly rename your name to your proper name. Kasi I want to address you on your first name po, no? Because I don't want to address you like iPhone, like Zoom user. So at least we will know your name. Okay? So dito sa atin sa... Just to, ano, ha, to confirm, everyone is a Filipino, tama? Wala na kayo marahin na. Okay. So yun po. So eto yung ating health and social care is available now on both patches for online live interactive class and also face-to-face -face class. So face-to-face -face class natin is available for Kuwait students. Nakareside sa Kuwait. is open yung ating face-to-face -face class in Kuwait City and in Mahapola branch. Nakawa tayong branches dito sa Kuwait. So available tayo sa Mahapola, Block 2, and also in Kuwait City sa Madiya. Okay? So, available for both level, level 3 and level 4, yung ating diploma in both naman ng online at saka face-to-face. So, if you have questions, pwede kayong mag-unmute and then click yung reaction button for raise hand or pwede kayong mag-message sa ating um, chat box. Okay, kung hindi kayo pwede or hindi kayo available to unmute your mic kasi nasa work tayo, pwede kayong mag-send ng inyong message or questions sa chat box. Okay, so I hope kasi nga everyone is gathered here today to have the ano, no, um, knowledge kung paano ba magkaroon itong international diploma. Okay, so itong ating international diploma, which is isa sa mga in-demand, actually, itong health and um, social